A two-day meeting of an advisory panel to the FDA is now over. Members voted to recommend booster doses of the Johnson & Johnson single-shot COVID vaccine for everyone 18 and older. Research today looked at that as well as mixing and matching with other vaccines. Medical reporter Liz Bonus followed the meeting and has more on what was considered. Hey there, hello to you. Some of the research presented today does come from volunteers who participated in trials right here in the tri-state. The booster trials, regardless of what was presented today, ongoing. You may recall Marty Brenneman, the former voice of the Reds, part of the initial trial for Johnson & Johnson. He also let us come back within just the last few weeks at CTI clinical trials when he got his second dose as part of an ongoing Johnson & Johnson booster trial. He told me he had no side effects with either dose. I went into this thing with the understanding that if this shot's going to protect me and it's also going to protect you, whether you got the shot or not. What's interesting, however, was that at this meeting today, information did show a boost in immunity from the J&J &J booster at up to six months after initial vaccination. But preliminary data also showed that those who got an mRNA vaccine instead of a second J&J &J shot had a 76-fold increase in antibodies 15 days after the booster. Those who got a second J&J &J shot only saw a four-fold rise. That's one of the reasons these mix and match booster trials are ongoing here at CTI and around the world. In the booster study, no matter what initial vaccine you got, we're offering the Johnson & Johnson boosters. Now, CTI still does need volunteers for this trial and many others that are ongoing, boosters and much more. We do have a link for more information inside this story at local12.com.